Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Jay Lee. I'm the uh, medical director of uh, electrophysiology here at St. Joseph Hospital. And uh, I've been asked to just to uh, discuss some of the uh, service lines we have uh, available here at St. Joseph's. Um, as uh, many of you may be asking what electrophysiology and arrhythmia services are, uh, it's essentially uh, we manage and deal with patients who have electrical problems with the heart. And uh, as far as patients are concerned, uh, this may consist of symptoms of palpitations. Um, we treat a wide variety of uh, conditions, uh, including uh, atrial fibrillation being one of the most common that you will find in uh, uh, the elderly patients. Uh, we also uh, provide services for uh, pediatric uh, uh, patient population. We treat conditions such as Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, supraventricular tachycardia. Um, we also provide a wide array of services for patients with uh, congestive heart failure. Uh, there's a wide uh, new, sorry, there's a new um, uh, treatment uh, uh, with uh, device therapy, pacemakers, and implantable cardio defibrillators. Arrhythmias uh, is a general broad diagnosis which uh, encompasses uh, various uh, conditions, uh, basically uh, any abnormal um, uh, rhythm disturbance, such as either a slow uh, rhythm or a uh, rhythm that's too fast. Um, patients who have very slow rhythms will require uh, a simple pacemaker. And some uh, more complex rhythmias, uh, patients will require um, other therapies, such as defibrillators. There are many arrhythmias or rhythm disturbances that we can uh, um, treat with a procedure and actually cure the uh, uh, condition with uh, an, what's called an electrophysiology and uh, ablation. Unlike uh, coronary artery disease and atherosclerosis, there aren't many things that we can do um, to prevent some of the, uh, the arrhythmias that patients uh, will um, require. These are uh, conditions that uh, develop uh, later in adulthood. Some are inherited. Um, so there's unfortunately not many things that we can do. Some conditions uh, are uh, exacerbated and worsened by caffeine uh, and alcohol. Um, and so avoiding these things can certainly, uh, certainly help.